All right, no more conversations about character top tiers. If you guys do donate though, I will answer some other questions. Um, if you donate, I'll check to see if you guys donated. But um, actually, no, I should have the notification. Just ask your question. If your question doesn't get appeared on the screen, um, I will just just type it in. Anywhere from a dollar and up. I will, but this goes, remember, this goes to a good cause. It goes to Smash Alzheimer's location. You guys can donate over there at A-L-Z-O-C dot lot. Oh, what a reaction from Ben, man. That's two times he's got, he's literally gotten more salsa out of that, out of shield option too, man. This is ridiculous. Ben, yeah, Ben's upbeaters are disgusting. But it's so good out of shield. Oh no, more salsa out of that range from trying to avoid Ben. Ben takes game one. More salsa wanted to avoid like Ben being off stage, because then you can get Sage Spike, just hit from Ben from the down air. But unfortunately, like Wolf's up B range is not that good. So you have to be really careful careful on that situation. And if you pressure Wolf off stage, it's really, really rough. Oh, what a good coverage there, especially after the neutral get up. Wolf is a pretty cool character. I have to agree on that one. Oh man, Ven is just doing so good on pressure. That's see, that's what kind of happened to Morse also last game. He wanted to avoid a lot of that from Zelda, but unfortunately, he did a little bit too low for Ven. Oh, uh, that's a good up yet a ship, but this time Morse also gonna be able to not have that panic reaction and look to punish Ven afterwards, which is good. Oh no, and he rolled back and he jumped. Like, he had the right idea on how to try and punish Vim with the jump afterwards, trying to go for an aerial. Oh, good empty hop here. I was smashed read, but that was good on Van not to worry about that go for get up attack with how close more salsa was to the ledge. Back air, really good just because he's at this point, like he sees Ven's percent. So that back air, even if it doesn't kill, it gets Ven off the stage. Four tilt reaction here. It is two hits, so you have to be careful on how you shield and parry it. That's good because he shows his back, can react to an up smash back air, and then get the up tilt too. That's, ah, that's really good at coming off of more salsa. Like, just. just Wolf showing his back to you at the ledge is really scary. Down, like all every every one of his moves just becomes a big threat. Oh, that was good. After after that, Nair he goes for shield just to avoid that. That's gonna be a down throw? Yeah. Oh no, that's overzealous too. If he connected, if he connected that, that would have been good because that would have given Ven such a surprise. But Zelda is 
Zelda doesn't have a tall hurt box, but it would have been different if Ven had gone for like a directional air dodge upward. And if he failed to try to do, if he like miss input it, but there was no reason on that one. Zelda's forward airs and backers are good as is. And they're just basically the result of her earning that double parry. That's what that's what I'm saying like that forward tail. It's two hits. So you have to be careful how you let go of your shield because the second hit can catch you. The first hit confirms into the second hit. Oh, more salsa on this comeback, though. Nice. Looking for that spacing. Oh, on the back air coming up for more salsa. The reaction. That was good here. Getting game one. One one apiece. Yeah, I was going to say. Like, Zelda has Falcon knee and Falcon back air. It is. They're definitely really, really strong aerials. And the reason if they she gets them and they connect is because a result of her earning those. And she earns them by forcing you into those situations. All right, game three. See, the thing about Zelda Fair and back air is, yes, the hitbox is really difficult. Ven is a master at the character. But the thing about them, like I said, is like they're earned. They're very strong. Ven is really good with them out of shield, but you have to practice. But they're rewarding. The reward that you get from forward air and back air in terms of its knockback and its speed being at frame six is big, that it does require some skill gap. Can you imagine if it was like a brainless to do that? Man, it'd be, Zelda would be pretty broken. But that's the thing about some characters in some fighting games is some of their moves do require that skill base, that skill base to know that it's either rewarding or not as rewarding. In Zelda's case, she does require a lot of skill to play properly. You can mash with her, but you won't go that far as you think. Uh, but to play hard at the skill level, it, it does require, she's very difficult to learn, which is why we don't see a lot of Zeldas out there. I mean, which is why we saw Ven almost destroy MKLeo altogether. He is a player of that caliber. But like I said, the reward that you get from being skilled at Zelda isn't as good as other characters. But for Ven, it's it's just goes to show his level of prowess and favorite favoritism with the character, I think. That, that SD was hurt. That SD hurt my soul. That's that's a good reaction from Ben. Unfortunately, that forward air, kind of an interesting call. But I think it's because he was looking to see if more salsa was gonna di away or direction or not away to just try to get it towards the ledge that's a good reaction from then and he finally gets that second hit set up on the night there that's good look at that pressure too and he fakes that and he fakes out that oh no that's it yeah that's it he faced out that situation with a grab too sensing that more salsa was gonna try to go for the reflector and at that point if you go from the reflector with how much zelda has set up you're at the mercy of vent's grab which Ven did get, by the way. These SDs do need to stop. I agree. Chat, press F if you feel for those SDs. Can I get Fs in the chat for all those FDs, baby? Last one wasn't an SD. No, it wasn't. Actually, it could count as an SD just because he reacted with a directional air dodge because he wanted to avoid that situation. But the problem is he did too low. I, I, I yeah. If, if he neutral air dodge, yeah, he, he yeah, he could have looked. Yo, what up, Guapo? Thank you for being in the chat. Thank you for the raid, by the way. Three. 
SDs. We're gonna talk. We're gonna stop talking about SDs and get to FDs. Oh, this stage has an FD form. Cause he is handsome. He's probably a handsome man. Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness, from the GameCube. All right, then here on the night setup. Once again, I mean, <laughs> there's not much I can say on Ven at the ledge. I I think for particularly more salsa, he just has to be really careful and aware of what Ven is looking for. Ven is one of like I've said this so many times. Ven is one of those players that forces you to play his playstyle. Once you start playing Ven's game, it is so hard to walk away. That's kind of what happened to more salsa last game. Yes, he had a few SDs. But there was a lot of situations where just more salsa was playing into Ven's hands. And playing into Ven's hands can hurt the soul, man. That's a back throw. That might not kill. Just because, yeah, I was going to say, it might not kill. Blast zones on this stage are pretty, pretty forgiving. They're bigger than they were in Smash 4. But it's still good for more salsa to have the stage control and then force Ven off the stage. Unfortunate though, because that up tilt confirmed for Ven was so big there and that gives more salsa a stock loss. Ven could take all the time in the world at the ledge here just because of how it was a more salsa. He went for a name his love. Probably sensing some aggression, but that was good on more salsa just to hold center stage. I think that's what he needs to do more often is hold the center stage and wait for Ven when he comes back at the ledge. Yes, Ven could set up for night, but at the distance in which Ven sets up Knight and, and Din's Fire, you can just reflect that and you'll be pretty safe. What a good reaction. Down throw, dash attack? Yeah, classic wolf combo there. Look, well, I think, yeah, more salsa needs to go for that spacing. He needs to hold that center stage, man. His his tournament life depends on it. Ven's up 2-1. It's not even if his life depends on it. His whole tournament life, man. He's out of it. This is loser's finals. Forward air. Uh, good, good from Ven to get that forward air. And then he goes on to the next read in which he could see if more salsa was gonna try to get away from the ledge and go for some stage. Gets the forward tilt here, stage control. Yeah, that's good, that's good. And the spacing and the reaction to Fomorce also. Like I said, I think he did a much better this, these past few games. Holding center stage, the reactions against Ven. Arguably, as chat can say, less SDs. All right, last game between these two. I think with more salsa, just changing his game plan a little bit more comes up much better for him now in the long run. I, I, as long as more salsa just sticks to that game plan from last game, he'll be fine. Oh, does it? That's good. Get instead of going for, he changes it up with Forza. That was good. The only reason why, oh, that was good. Empty hop two into the down smash gets Ven off the stage. And the spacing once again coming up for more salsa. Ooh, tough one on the back air. I think I, that was still good though. He tried to read that. 
I think where Venom was in positioning terms, Opto would have been a much better choice. But still, Morris also knows. I'll hold the center stage and go from there. Yeah, Morse also is doing a much better job of holding center stage. Ven, Ven has to fight for a lot here. You have to play to wolf strikes too. And you're also your ability to tech chase is so strong. Has to be really immaculate. If you're able to get your tech chases on point, man, you can just destroy with wolf. Well, Ven, that was good. I think for Ven to go for... Bowers win was good too because he gets center stage but also like the analog from blaster situational there for for him to go for Bowers win towards center stage it just basically relied on more salsa going for an option and catching him at the end lag nice good good change and punish out of shield for Vin. didn't try to go for anything too hard what a reflector on the way back down man more salsa sneaks that in doesn't let him get the knife for free. And that was good too, because he still goes down towards the ledge and he can still come back up and he hits Ven off that one. More salsa with a stock lead here, and that's what he needs. What a reaction from Ben. Yo, what up, sir? Forward air. Oh, he should have waited too. At that point, like, sometimes the best mix up is no mix up. So going for a few arrows and just landing and seeing Ben's reaction. Then Zelda, Ven has to really hard commit because Zelda's landing options aren't as good. She has to set up Knight in which at that point, like when Zelda's going to go for the landing, you can just pretty much reflect her or punish Ven. Nice. Morse also using a lot of the movement here. Dash attack. He's got him off the stage and looking to force that low recover here. He has to stay towards center stage for the spacing here. Good opto change and not even the down smash, but it finally will connect that low profile. Man, oh man. More salsa takes it up 3 2 over Ven. What a comeback. You're good, but I am Chat, press one if you are hyped for Wolf. Jesus. Give it up for more salsa. What a comeback.